Yeah, buddy. Trains are rolling. Look at here. Pushing the track cleaning car. Ooh, ooh, man. the on track Tuesday shirt on and that's just kind of a reminder that tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern we got a special host because we got a fifth Tuesday and we got a special host and it is TSG Multimedia John and he's planning a, a, a big show for us uh, so much so that he put a uh, a uh, questionnaire out on uh, on YouTube to see what you want him to talk about. He has so many subjects he don't know which way to talk. So I told him all of the above. <laughs> but you do what you want. But uh, I, I expect you to check him out tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, be 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, for his On Track Tuesday. Then, immediately after John's done, and I say immediately after because if he goes over, I don't care. It's just when he is done, I'm going to go live, and we're going to have the 50th, um, and, uh, my 50th episode t-shirt giveaway. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a chance for enough of you to get in there to make it pretty fun. And I'm going to do Sparky Rules. Uh, when I say Sparky Rules, uh, I mean I'm going to pick a number from wherever how many is in, in the chat. Say there's 40 in the chat. If there's 40 in the chat, I'm going to pick a number from 1 to 40. Or I might have a special guest or somebody to pick the number for us. And... And I'm going to say go. And the first one in the chat that guesses the number wins the t-shirt. And I will announce the, the exact winner in next week's episode 52. Uh, is not bad. 
So, with that said, let's get on with the show. Okay, we're going to start off this week with Eric S. Uh, 2019 National Train Show at Salt Lake City, free lawn, free mow and scale. Wow. Wow, Eric, you really caught the very best of this free mow. Man, some of the, I guess if you don't, not familiar what a free mow is, I guess what it is is everybody makes a, 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 a module. From I think they're I, if I think right they're they're like four foot long, and in that four foot you can put whatever you want. Now some people make some that are longer, but I think the minimum's four foot, and you get a variety. Well, at the uh, this train show, what they, I think they did is they were trying to see if they could get make a world's record where it was the most. Put together and from what I understand it was phenomenal phenomenal and Eric did a really really good job of catching it way to go Eric looking out for us not bad huh uh, Eric's got 91 subscribers folks so uh, check out his channel I, I think you'll really like it the next one is Fred E okay and it's the uh, Vermont Railroad North Bennington Part 1. And uh, this is an awesome look at the railroad at North Bennington and its history lesson and some really great switching uh, footage. Uh, I personally can't wait for Part 2, which I think is already out and I haven't got a chance to check it out, but check it out yourself. Fred has got 48 subscribers, and I will tell you, he is definitely worth checking out. He, he did a really phenomenal job, especially on the history part. It was really great. So check it out, Fred E. Next one is William Sullivan, New Ferrist Railroad. And, and William Sullivan is finally running trains on the, the New Ferrist Railroad, and you know what, William? I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> After doing all the work and all the pulling your hair out and trying to get everything to run smooth, it is just terrific just to finally have trains running on your layout, and I know what that's like. So congratulations. Not bad. The next one is Vic Yoder. Amtrak Desert Wind and Southwest Chief powered by Pepsi cans and Tsunami 2. Uh, 1.2 Pico -ders. Pico -ders. Decoders. Oh, 1.2 decoders. Beautiful. That's all I can say is beautiful. These Amtrak trains are just knock your socks off and and the layout's beautiful that he's got it on. You definitely got to check it out. The sound is awesome and beautiful. And beautiful is the right word for this video. If you haven't checked it out, it is really, really, really cool. Not bad. The next one I've got is Double Diamond Railroad. Strasburg Railroad. Uh, clips and some nice shots to get me all pumped up and started for next year's meet and greet because it sure sounds like that's where it's going to be. Uh, uh, Roy Smith has a nice video out on the uh, Strasburg Railroad too so if you really want to see what maybe the next year's meet and greet might entail a little taste of it there you go and as the Lord willing I will be there uh, it was definitely not bad Double Diamond Railroad. Liked it. And uh, the next one is Dave's Hobbies and Things. Update. 725 
2019 and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at David's layout progress. He is really on his way to something terrific. And I mean something terrific. You have to check out his update. It is very enlightening on his layout. Really not bad. And David's Hobbies and Things only has 29 subscribers, people. I'm sure we can move that up a little bit. As all these people that I'm mentioning today, everybody, please like and subscribe to their channel. Comment if you would, because everybody likes comments. Um, I think you'd really, really need to check out all these guys' channels. David's and everybody else and uh, on that note we're going to go to the rail fan video of the week and uh, and the rail fan video of the week this week I think it's going to be BNSF Bishop and it's awesome horn on the PREX 701 as it leads the local in Statesboro, Georgia, 725-19. And all I can say is, wow, what a nice horn show. I, If you like listening to the horns of, of trains, you know, I, me, I like, it don't matter if it's diesel or steam, I love them. Uh, you really want to get my goosebumps going as you know let me listen to a, the horn of the big boy I that just sounds just really awesome so he's my pick for this week is BNSF Bishop go check it out I think you'll be really pleased all the links for all the channels that I mentioned today plus some other links like uh, TSG will be also in the description for make it easy for you to go find them. Uh, the runners up for the rail fan video is uh, Go Via CN Ontario, the uh, 247 at Osler, and the West Virginia one. Former cotton belt switcher hitches a ride on the CSX manifest. So, there's your other ones, and that's what we got for this week. Now, we're going to go to the question of the week. And last week's question was, uh, what question would you like me to ask? And I think for a while, I think at least for a while, I'm going to pull from some, uh, the list of people that have a question they wanted me to ask. And each week I'm going to think I'm going to feature someone's question. Now, just because you didn't get in on last week, if you have a question you want me to ask, leave it in the comments. I will add it to the list and I will get to it as soon as you come down the list. Yeah, right now I got seven, eight, eight, eight people that have already asked the question, and I will go through it again to make sure that I didn't miss anybody. So, all right. So this week, the question comes from NS fifty one oh seven, aka Chazco. And because uh, his was the first one I scrolled through to. <laughs> okay, he was the first one I spotted. So he gets to be the first one to have his questions asked. And his question is, what do you use for the base of the mountain or raised terrain? Foam, wadded up paper, uh, cardboard, webbing or something else. Uh, I personally haven't used anything yet. <laughs> but it looks like I'm going to try out foam to start off with and probably with a combination 
of uh, cardboard webbing. Uh, it, it, it sure looks like that's what I'm going to use. Uh, just because it looks like that might be the easiest and uh, way I'm, I'm going to. Uh, so that's my answer to your question, Chazco. And let's see what everybody else asks. Leave your answer to the question of the week in the comments. I will read it again here so that you know what the question is. What do you use for the base of the mountain or a raised terrain? Do you use foam? Do you use wadded up paper? Cardboard? Uh, uh, cardboard webbing? Or, or maybe something else. Maybe you have something that we haven't heard about yet. Maybe some little trick that you might would like to share. Uh, your answers are appreciated and we'll get into it and use. Now, I, anybody that has seen my Facebook page has an idea what my on the layout's going to be tonight. But I can't wait to show you. And there's some, a couple little surprises that I haven't showed on the Facebook page. So here we go to On The Layout. Okay, folks. As you can see, there are trains. Notice plural trains running on the Indian Head Valley Railroad. Yeah. I meant to straighten this up a little bit. Yep. And that just tickles me to no end. Now let me let me tell you, we I was finding out that the 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 short that I was having was a combination of things but the main culprit and I'm going to show you the main culprit right now come over here I'll set this down right here Oop. was this turnout right here well, it isn't that turnout because I took the turnout that was there and chucked it to the side. But it was bad. Changed the turnout out. Everything's working fine. And, and that is thanks to some advice I got from my son, which surprised me. <laughs> That's good. You know, it shouldn't surprise me, but it did. He told me to take and... Uh, uh, take all my switches and, and put the adjust the points so they're in the center so none of them were touching and and then one by one check to see if if uh, that eliminated the problem and sure enough it was that bad boy right there saved me a lot of headache I did put a couple more drops in and I've been slowly soldering up the joints, slowly. So, because I've been having too much fun running trains. Let me back this off, Oop, but wrong way, there we go. Also, as you can see, I'm trying to get myself the idea of how I'm gonna do my, that's what the purpose of that garbage over there is. <laughs> But I just wanted to see, kind of get the uh, feel of the tunnel thing. And plus the mountain is going to be over in there. Yeah, let's see here. We'll get a close up right in there. That's going to be my mountain scene. So, and I'm going to have a train coming up the incline there. As you can see, i already preparing to put a few bridge areas in there. I'm going to try to do something with... Uh, the one kit that I got one from Sparky, so uh, we're going to. I think you're going to start seeing some transformation in the next uh, month or so of the Indian Head Valley Railroad. Also, 
on this. I got rid of some some of that blue, and I'm slowly working at it. Uh, I had some uh, paint that I bought from the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, mess up section, you know, where they messed up. Well, also really messed up because that paint is garbage. <laughs> it. It don't cover it. It barely tinted the. Uh, so I ended up using some Walmart cheapo fifty cent a bottle paint, and I got that look, which is a lot better. So I'm slowly getting it, but I have to go to Walmart and spend a couple bucks to finish up the layout. But it's coming together, folks. It's coming together. I had a dream. Also, if you notice there at the beginning of the the show, and let me set this down somewhere. We we'll get keep it on the trains instead of me because the trains are really the the star of the show. And I'll show you something else here. And uh, at the beginning of the show, I showed you my prize that I'd got from. JNWHO series, Jason Wood, uh, from Australia. And it was nice enough to uh, autograph the box for me. But here it is. Here it is. Now, the reason I don't have it running on the layout is I got to do a little bit of modification because it don't like my turnouts. I don't know if the flanges on the uh, wheels are just a little small compared to what I got on the other ones, but I will work it out because I think this is a beautiful car, and it is called a brake car, okay? And uh, the from what I read on the things, point the detail on this, it just picture does not do justice. I mean, if you'd see the detail, look on the bottom of this. Look at all the detail in it. This, this is an awesome model. Uh, but, from what I see, and I'll set it over here where we can see it. I love that scene. The two of them racing up together up through the center there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just look at it and it just starts to make me giggle. I'm just that happy. <laughs> well, I've gone that note, folks. <laughs> I'm going to end the show for today. I want to thank you for stopping by. Do not forget to stop by tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, for, for On Track Tuesday. We got TSG Multimedia. Do you believe that? I, yeah, I just think that's fantastic. I, I think John's gonna do something very special for us, and uh, and anything he do is gonna be special. But hey, he's our special guest, and uh, also right afterwards, I'm giving away a T-shirt, people. I mean, I know that does sound like maybe a thrill for some of you, but some of you will, maybe. I'm sending you a t-shirt. So, if, if you win, we're going to do Sparky Rules. Sparky Rules tomorrow night. Okay, enough of the jabbering. My tongues are flapping too much. So, thank you again for stopping by and humoring me. One more week. Uh, and may, may God bless every one of you. Um, oh, and by the way, uh, James Tedesco is home now. Uh, he's made it through it okay. And we're going to be blessed with videos here come soon as he recovers a little bit bet more. Praise the Lord, he, he made it through everything okay. And uh, I told him, I says, you know, 
Hey, when they want to put you in therapy, do what them therapists tell you, James. I'm telling you, I, 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 therapy helped me recover a lot faster when I had my heart attack, my friend. So, do what you got to do. All righty. May all the Lord bless every one of you. He's so great. He's so great. Thank you again for stopping by. You guys are great. I, I, I just love every one of you. And until tomorrow night, take care. Bye.